today I want to solve some questions from paper 2, 2016. The first question, the diagram shows an enlarged drawing of the end of a meter row. It is being used to measure the length of a small ferret. What is the length of the ferret? As you see, we have two scales, millimeter and centimeter, and this is the small ferret. As you see, this is 10, 20, 30. What does it mean? This means that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on. So, if I want to uh, determine this point, it will be 29. Why 29? Because we have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Right? So this is 29 from the beginning to here. And here we have 10. To determine the length of this small feather, we'll subtract 10 from 29 to get the length of this small feather. So it will be 29 minus 10 equal 19 millimeter. And this is the right answer. After that, the speed time graph shown is for a car moving in a straight line. What is the acceleration of the car when the time is 40 seconds? If you look to this graph, relation between speed and time. You can say that the time is 40 seconds. When the time equal 40, the speed equal 15. So the acceleration equal 15 divided by 40. So this is the right answer. No, it's the wrong answer. Why? Because we said that acceleration equal change in the speed divided by change in time. But in this case, there is no change in the speed. The speed equal 15 because time equal 40 seconds. Speed equal 15, no change in the speed. So the acceleration will be equal zero. So this is the right answer. After that, two runners take part in a race. The graph shows how the speed of each runner changes with time, as you see. What does the graph show about the runners at time t? We have relation between speed and time. As you see, this is for runner one and this is for runner two. At time t, as you see, this point is intersection between the two runners or the two graphs. And in this point, the speed will equal between the runner one and runner two. So we have to choose A, both runners are moving at the same speed, at the same speed. After that, a satellite orbits the Earth above the atmosphere at a constant speed. The diagram shows the satellite at one point in its circular orbit around the Earth. Which labeled arrow shows the direction of the resultant force on the satellite at the position shown? As you see, this is the satellite move around the Earth. And here we have centripetal force. And as we said, centripetal force, its direction perpendicular to the direction of the motion and its direction toward the Earth. So this is D is the right answer due to the centripetal force. After that, a cup contains what liquid? Some of the liquid evaporates. What happens to the mass and what happens to the weight of the liquid in the cup? If you have some liquid in the cup, some of this liquid evaporates. What about the rest of the liquid? Actually, its mass and its weight also decreases because the amount decreases. So we have to choose A. Mass decreases and weight decreases. After that, the diagrams show three uniform beams, B, Q, and R, each pivoted at its center. The two forces acting on each beam are also shown, as you see. Which beams rotate clockwise? You know that we have two types of directions. We have clockwise and we have anticlockwise. To answer this question, we have to calculate the moment of force in each case. And you know that the moment of force equal force time distance from pivot. So, if we want to solve the first question, or the first uh, moment of force, M, equal F times D. So M 
equal, force here equal what? Equal four times two. Distance from this force to the pivot equal eight Newton dot meter because the force Newton distance meter you have multiplication between them. The second case, the second moment of force M equal four times one equal four Newton dot meter. As you see, here we have four Newton dot meter and here we have eight Newton dot meter. So this beam will rotate clockwise or anticlockwise. Here we have eight and here we have four. So it will rotate anticlockwise. He said clockwise, so this is the wrong answer. The second one, M equal force, which is two Newton times distance from force to the pivot, which is four equal eight Newton dot meter. Here, moment of force equal force, which is five times two equal 10 Newton dot meter. Here we have 10 and here we have eight. So the beam will rotate in this direction, which is clockwise. So this is from the right answer. The last one, M equal force 1.5 times two equal three Newton dot meter. Here, moment of force equal one times four, which is the distance between the force and the pivot equal four Newton dot meter. Here we have four and here we have three, so it will rotate clockwise moment. So also this is the right answer, so we will choose Q and R. So this is the right answer.